Good morning. Thank you for allowing me to present my research, which is very relative to these proceedings. I adamantly support the change in the wording of the drug labeling for chronic opioid therapy. Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Barron. I'm a physician and have a master's degree in public health. I am board certified in psychiatry, anesthesiology, and addiction medicine. I am a fellow of the American Society of Addiction Medicine. In 2010, I was appointed to the Tennessee Board of Medical Examiners by Governor Bredesen for a six-month, six-year term. However, I'm speaking to you today as a physician that treats patients in my office that have chronic pain and addiction. So I see and hear both sides of this issue regarding opioid prescribing and chronic pain. I have not received grant money for the research I'm about to present, and I have no financial relationships to disclose. I want to present data that I published in the, in the peer-reviewed journal, the Journal of Opioid Management. This data was gathered while admitting patients to the Vanderbilt Psychiatric Hospital at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee, over the course of about six months. All of the patients that were included in the study were detoxed because they wanted to get off high-dose opioids for three main reasons. Reasons one, the doctor would not increase the dose anymore. Reason two, their side effects were too severe, such as constipation and urticaria. And reason three, when they went to the pharmacy, the pharmacist made them feel like they were an addict. Figure one is the amount of morphine equivalents that these patients were prescribed. These were 23 patients that were in a row. They were not randomly selected. They were all referred to me by a pain clinic or multiple pain clinics. They were all electively admitted to the Vanderbilt Psychiatric Hospital. And they were all followed up after the acute withdrawal period. As you can see, many were prescribed very high doses of morphine or morphine equivalent opioids. The medications included hydrocodone, oxycodone, fentanyl, methadone, meperidine, um, and um, hydromorphone. Figure two shows us their pre and their post detoxification pain scores. The pre detox scores were when they were seen by me in the pre admission process. None of these scores were while the patients were in withdrawal. The post-detox scores were when they were being seen for follow-up after the acute withdrawal period. Every pain score decreased from beginning to end. Let me say that again for clarity. Every patient's pain score decreased when they were on high-dose opiates to when they were detoxed to no opiates. Figure three lets us look at that data another way. The patients had less pain, on average a 3 on an analog pain scale of 0 to 10 off of opiates, whereas they had a mean pain score of about 8 while on high-dose opioids. This research has been repeated. It goes against common sense and our usual understanding of pain control and of opioids. In fact, this research goes against most of what I learned in pharmacology and in medical school. High-dose opioids makes pain worse. This is not the rare phenomenon of hyperalgesia syndrome. This is a ph phenomenon that happens when a patient is prescribed high-dose opiates over a long period of time. Unfortunately, we have no long-term efficacy studies that are any good. So we don't really know what happens at the receptor level when a patient takes 
high-dose opiates for a long time. What we know from my and other people's research is that the homeostasis of the opiate receptor gets completely annihilated by high-dose opiates. As well, moderate pain gets amplified to severe pain with the use of high-dose opioids. From my study, one can see that high-dose opioids does more harm than good. Using opioids for moderate pain will eventually cause more pain. So I'm asking, please restrict labeling of opioids for severe pain and limit the dose. Otherwise, we are causing more pain and doing more harm than good for our patients. Thank you for allowing me this time.